All right, well, welcome back, everybody. It's been a long time. It's Johnny Silver here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's been... Feels like maybe close to, I think, Thanksgiving. So, two months, I think, since I've last been able to put out a video. Man, I tell you what, uh, Hell and Hand Basket has met... A couple things going on. One is I've been able to change up uh, a little bit of what I'm, you know, how I'm filming. I had, uh, my setup was more like a copy desk or something like that. Similar to that anyway. And that's what I've got. So I've been able to change the angle. Oh, anyway. Uh, so I posted my truck broke down in some great and interesting ways. I had to get uh, some brake work done. And uh, that was all the way around. Uh, the truck I drive has uh, floating axles in the back, so the axle halves have to come out in order to be able to change the brake. It's a Ford thing. I got an old uh, F-350 pickup truck. So, given the driveway that I have, I really couldn't do it on my own. I had to pay to have it done. And uh, I had to get some exhaust work done, too. The uh, up pipes in the back behind the turbo were pretty much rotted out. And it's just, oh my god, it was, so it was a lot of money. <laughs> I actually thought about, uh, you know, maybe trading a whole bunch of stuff in here. But uh, I decided not to just work some more and get cash going. Start, uh, you know, throwing some fiat at the problem, really, to get it done. And then, on top of all that, uh, I've had computer problems. That have plagued me. I've lost a lot of uh, stuff that I had already filmed. Um, it's just like, you know, between the, the truck, the, the computer, frankly, I need a new computer. Um, and I'm just waiting because I think that the prices are going to go down as the economy takes a dump. So, yeah, it has been a lot of work, a lot of effort. And I just haven't had time to film or refilm or anything like that. So I've been slowly kind of getting back to the point where I can film and, and come and do things. I figured, well, it would be fun. You know, we'll start out here again. When I first started this channel, I did an unboxing from Stack That Gold. See, I've got another package here from him. So I bought a little something from him. I figured, well, I'll go ahead and start it, restart the channel that way again. So... Being that he's in New York, I figure I'd open it up in a special way and I'd bring out a little bit of... What's up, honky? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so let's see uh, what I picked up here from Stack That Gold. I should wear my glasses, I think. Mercury 9. He knows how much I love those things. Check that out. Cool beans, dude. Oh man, I, that's great. <laughs> yeah, let's see, that's it. Alright, good. looking coin this is my first Australian coin actually well no technically not but because I've got the kangaroos I've got about that but that isn't like a kangaroo or isn't a kangaroo anyway. it's a snake sure exactly what kind of snake it is. I'll have to look it up and find out. We'll do a, I'm sure those scales are pretty cool and the details should be quite nice. Let's see if I open it up here. 
So yeah, I hope y'all are, are, are doing well out there. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you, belated as it is. I'm glad to be back. I've got, oh, you know, some stuff in the mix here to do reviews on. Show off. Here we go. Almost looks cobra-esque, but being that it's Australia, I really don't know. Although it does have Chinese marking on it, so who knows? It's one ounce, three nines, fine silver, two thousand and one. It's a very nice coin, just absolutely beautiful. Got a good deal on it, so it's always a pleasure to uh, work with STG. He uh, definitely sweetens the pot a bit here. The uh, Mercury Dime looks pretty cool. I definitely will add that to my stack and see what's the year on that one. 19, 23. Sweet. Alright. Oh, we can see the snake a little bit better now. Yeah, just a gorgeous coin. So nice deal. It's returned in the right way. She almost looks man-like, but you know, it is good. I uh, I definitely am pretty cool. I'm glad to have that. Like I said, that's kind of not my first Australian coin, but my first uh, you know kind of anti uh, or not anti, but not uh, a kangaroo or sovereign. You know what I mean. <laughs> this, uh, I don't know exactly how to put it, but y'all know what I mean anyway. So, uh, as far as it goes, I've got a lot of background changes that are going to be coming up and try and make it more, uh, look more like a, uh, well, just normal kind of stuff anyway. I'd been needing a new knife to do some unboxings with, and this one I finally got, so glad to have that. The, uh, I like how fast it pops, so. Hell of a story about how this is a uh, what's up honky knife, but, uh, you know, comical nonetheless. No, uh, it, it wasn't anything bad that happened, it was just, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> one of those things that comes out to be, so. Are we getting stickers? No stickers. All right, well, no. I've got these two here anyway. I'm going to start doing a background where I'm putting up people's stickers. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that yet. Ain't quite figured that one out, but, you know, we're getting there. I'm just getting back into it, so. I got another cool unboxing that'll be coming up fish soon. Um, yeah. Alright, so anyways, I'm back. This is my first video out for, like, two months, and I got started with an STG unboxing on a really cool coin. That's all in all, you just can't beat it, I don't think. There we go. Yeah, dealing with the light is going to be different in this position. I'll still do it from the other way, but it allows me to uh, be a lot more flexible anyway. So, we'll see y'all next time. Thanks so much for tuning in. Sorry I haven't seen y'all in a bit, and uh, yeah, glad to be back to it. Bye-bye.